Nashville has been a marvelous host city for the Southeastern Conference Basketball Tournament, the 2010 edition. It is the SEC on ESPN, and it's semifinal Saturday in the SEC tourney. All part of Championship Week presented by Dick Sporting Goods. Our first game this afternoon is a dandy, a rubber match between Kentucky and Tennessee, number 13 and number two in the country, set in game one here at Bridgestone Arena. Tennessee had to play back-to-back -back days. They beat Ole Miss yesterday to get here. Kentucky with a win over Alabama. The winner will take on the Mississippi State Vanderbilt winner, and that one comes up a little bit later on this afternoon. Before the game, Kentucky taking the floor. I'd say they were loose enough. There's DeMarcus Cousins with some of his moves. Patrick Patterson, the veteran, got it going on. The SEC tournament, they could move up to a two seed. So much to play for in this game. Cousins isn't going to miss that one. The big guy got ahead of steam, and he's got the first basket. What a rebound off the backside by Patterson. Went up over Hobson and Chisholm. Lob, Cousins. They've done it twice already. Ready opening, couple of minutes. Can't lose him, partner. No. Absolutely. Bledsoe coming the other way in a hurry. Now Wall, up and under. So much speed combined. Driver in college basketball to back it up, John Wall. And here's Wall driving the other way on the steal. Oh, yes, he did. Many finals, as Jimmy said, the best driver in college basketball. Here he comes, making like Jimmy Johnson. 8-4, Cats. Number one seed, they need to win their tournament. They need Kansas to lose that game in the Big 12 title for it to happen. Darius Miller. Now it's a six-point lead. And Wayne Chisholm usually stands when he's not... And again, trying to force it to Patterson. Cousins finds the handle and a chance for a three-point play. And that was just watch the power of number 15. Brady's strong as an ox. I mean, he's got a set of shoulders on him that no one else in college basketball has and very few at the next. And early. Wall, well, that time he found his man. Patrick Patterson's first. Bruce Pearl upset with the officiating. Kentucky by that basket. Wall leaves it for Orton from the free throw line. Williams had a hand on it. Wall stole it from him. Come down and wait for some help. Miller in the corner for three. Darius Miller. Down on the deck. Tennessee has numbers, but they don't use them. And now Cousins is all alone. Hammer time. Talk about being in the right place at the right time on the wrong end. Tournament in Nashville. Sometimes when you're on the deck, just dust yourself off. Wait for the ball to come back. And two of them are 6'11". Nope. Bledsoe, that is a good shot. And Kentucky starts doing that. Of Tennessee. And this is a very dangerous time right now if you're a volunteer fan because Kentucky is doing things like that. And Tennessee's not. Ashley Judge. Tatum had it pinned by Cousins on the glass. The recovery speed of DeMarcus Cousins and John Wall. Outstanding because you talk about a blow-by move that looked like a guaranteed two points for Tennessee. Look at Wall and Cousins. Against the window. Four minutes into the second half. Here's Cousins on offense with a big wing. Named Jeff Foot, Eggle Cedar at Northern Iowa. Not a lot of those seven foot big bodies. Kentucky has a plethora of them. Not many guys have one of these, though. Nope. You start wondering pretty soon does Tennessee have a run in them? Bledsoe. Dead eye from three. I'll ask you, what did Bledsoe do as soon as he caught that basketball? Straight up. Wildcats by 11. Bledsoe, same spot, same result.
Look at that. And Eric Bledsoe catches that ball, Brad. He has about a 10-foot buffer between himself. Wall. Down to Patterson. That's how you end a run if you're Kentucky. And now all the fans. Bledsoe. Got it. Kentucky do to answer. It's Wall to Patterson, and I think that will be their formula, not only in the remainder of this tournament, but in the NCAA tournament. When they have to have a basket, it will be Patterson on the inside, which then opens up the perimeter. And when they've had to have a three in the second half, good enough at Rupp and Thompson Bowling, Bridgestone Arena's getting their share of it right now. Dotson, got a three. And did not hesitate. Gets it back to Cousins. On the low block, he'll get it out. Dotson, same spot for three. Got it! And it all starts with DeMarcus Cousins, Brad. Short, Cousins, another rebound. Outlet to Miller. Three on one. Lob! Dotson! Bobby Mays is trying to. Behind the back, wall to the rack. Got it! The jet stream. All you're going to do is find out that there's still a vapor trail, and at the end of the trail, the finger roll. You know what's very impressive about favor of the Wildcats right now? Wall again. The kick out this time to Patterson. And now Bledsoe sets for a triple. Got it! The FC is going to be a handful in that tournament. Absolutely. They didn't play their best today. Kentucky had a lot to do with it. But you got minutes over there on the bench. They'll go to the locker room and the press conference after this. And then they can get ready for tomorrow, either Mississippi State or Vandy. Perry Stevenson, that's a big run right here. And what is still in store for us this afternoon and tonight? But right now, all the blue in this building has been waiting all week to see if their cats could get to the title game. They have. Final score, Kentucky 74, Tennessee 45. Kentucky is 31 and 2. Tennessee drops to 25 and 8, and now they'll wait until tomorrow night to find out where they're going to play in the NCAA. Kentucky will still hold out hope that maybe they would not only be a number one seed, but the overall number one seed. And now after all the pushing and shoving and talking, you see the sportsmanship between two teams that aren't crazy about each other. Nope. But when all is said and done, they both played as hard as they could. One team was just better today.